Welcome to this tutorial video on creating assignments in Canvas for the MakeCode editors. In this example, we will use the MakeCode from Microbit editor. In Canvas, and in this case, this is a sample classroom, you're going to want to create a new assignment, just as usual. So we're creating a new assignment. And in the new assignment, for example, we're going to ask students to create a dice with the microbit. You can add all the instructions as usual, but also you can add a link that lets them start from an initial program. So the way you do that is to open another tab and go to your favorite MakeCode editor. In that editor, create a new project. Make sure you name it uh, something that really helps you differentiate it from the other, like in this case, dice. And you can basically prepare the starting code for the students. In this case, I'm going to remove these blocks and instead I'm going to add a comment that says, create a dice program using the shake event. So now that I have a useful comment in the toolbox and I've kind of reorganized my code, I can share it by clicking on the share button. When I click on the share button, I can publish this code to the MakeCode Cloud and I can get a link to that program. Copy the link and go back to Canvas. Now in Canvas, you can paste the link, but that's not enough. You need to actually select the link and click on the link to URL icon to make sure that this becomes a link in the editor. This will make it easy for students to start coding right away. The rest of the setup is pretty much the same. There are two ways to return a project, either through a URL or via a file upload. And depending on which editor you use, this might be a hex file or a UF2 file or a PNG file. Or you can basically lift any upload type. In this case, we're gonna do microbit. So we're gonna restrict it to hex file, which is what the microbit editor generates. The rest is up to you and it's just yet another assignment. So I'm gonna save and publish this. And I'm gonna go home and switch into the student view. So switching to the student view, I can see that I have some assignment uh, and I can click on dice. And here I can read all the instructions that the teacher gave me, but also I have a link here and that link will take me directly into the editor. Actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, it will go into the share page, which is a read-only view of the, of the code. And you can see the instructions. And if I want to edit, I can click on edit, in which case I'm in the editor. The code is going to be set up for me. And the comment is ready for me to figure out what's going on. So I probably need to shake and show a number and probably pick a random number from one to six and that should be my dice app. Cool. So I've got my program, it works, I've tested it out. Um, so I'm gonna shake, yeah. The way to return it to the teacher is very similar. I can click on share, publish the project, copy the link, Go back to Canvas and submit the assignment as a link. There are two options here. So I can do website URL, copy this and submit the assignment. And the assignment is submitted. And now if we go back to the teacher view, we can go in speed grader and see that we have one assignment that has been returned and we're gonna get a screenshot. We'll, we'll be working on improving that screenshot, but you can open the link from the student directly here. And look at the code of the students or run it. And you don't need to go into the full editor for that. So I see that the code looks pretty good. I can actually run it. if I want to go and run that and this looks pretty good. I can close a tab go back to my grading and I guess I didn't, I grade zero out of zero. So it's going to be extra points and submit my grading. I can also 
if we do it again, I'll go and edit this. Let's say I want to add a comment to my student so that he improves his answer. I can add a comment here. Uh, what about a 22 faces dice? And the same dance hap happens. I can share, publish project, copy, go back to the speed grader, add this as a comment. And the comment is sent to the student. That's it. That's how you do assignments in Canvas, so Microsoft Make Code Editors.